friends hello welcome back hopefully everybody's day's been going well dawson lamb shout out to dawson lamb here he's got us a nice suggestion i like this i read it a couple of times i think i misinterpreted it the first time but i think i got the right idea of what he wants to see here, and i like the idea they want to see us go out there and accept all trades for a franchise you know we've seen the accepting all trades game and he wants to see us accept no trades no trades allowed for a franchise and see how that franchise does suggested the flyers so we're going to use the flyers but simply said this franchise right here we're about to start the flyers we're not going to do nothing minus except every single trade. well we're going to put together the best roster we can we're going to try to put together the lineup that's best for winning and if we accept the trade, we got to adjust the rosters. But we're going to accept every trade in this Flyers franchise. And in the next one, there will be no trades accepted. We'll see which one's better. Accepting every single trade or accepting no trades. An interesting idea here. I kind of like it. Want to hear the feedback from you guys as well. Again, I always appreciate the suggestions and the feedback from you guys. Always trying to learn and get better at some things you guys want to see. But owner mode off. See you later. Salary cap on. No. You know what we're going to do? We're going to leave salary cap off because I think that's going to make things more exciting. Same with Fog of War because they'll be willing to make more trades with the team when they're, you know, the cap's not a problem. So we're going to go with that direction there. And I think everything's good, right? Computer trades. This will allow your computer to set. We don't care if you guys trade back and forth. Sorry, you can't do it. Computers are turning it off. I just like turning things off. Cats. I don't know what else to say. We're going down that route. So injuries off. Um, accepting trades, trades, trades. You got to make sure the notifications on medium on the difficulty waivers off just because um where is this setting at i'd never mess with this did i miss it auto sign franchise computer trades oh you know what it is it's an advanced setting and notifications we always turn it off in the franchise because the computer goes crazy with the trades and i imagine they're going to do that again here today uh trade off for notifications that they're on perfect head coach firing now we don't want to see that because we're going to be making a lot of trades here it might not go too well. We don't need to see our coach getting fired. <laughs> Waiver notifications again off. That's it. Blockbuster trades. will leave that on. I mean, we don't really need to. Oh, I don't, the computer ain't making trades anyway, so it ain't going to show up. Let's do this, though. As they say in the hockey world, let's do this hockey. Philadelphia Flyers looking like, I don't know, an interesting team here. I guess you know who's got a lot of trade value? Just going to throw it out there, Flyers. I take advantage because I believe I seen them on waivers the other day. Mr. Shane Goss to spare. What a, what an interesting play. They really, you know, after that, was it that, was it his first year or second year in the league? He played really well. And it just, it looked like it was going to be scary for the Flyers. Ghost back there, Provorov. And things just kind of went sour for him, unfortunately, there. But let's see what this Flyers team's got. Again, we'll try to put together the best possible roster here from a line standpoint. So, Vorchek, Drew... And uh, do you want to do that? Kateri, Borchek, Drew. Do they all play together? I guess when you got JBR, Hayes, and Connect in the second line, you can make it happen. We just came to see two way. Yeah, power forward. That was going to be something. Power forward, sniper. If we can plus three a line for these guys, we're going to do it. Uh, Borchek, Couture. Yeah, Borchek can go in a second line. It looks like your Borchek there connecting you here. That's your plus three, that line. That'll improve that line. Everything else should be good here. Fair Man, this team is loaded. With high overall. It's good for the Flyers. Over on defense. We got Gustafson and Provorov. The power play specialist with Provorov. Still the 85. How do the Flyers fans feel about that one? Uh, Sanheim. Myers. Hey, there's Gustafson. Bear speaking of the devil. 83 overall. Solid. Third liner. Look at that chemistry, though. That is beautiful. Where are you playing the plus three for this team? You'll play a Sanheim. Sure. I mean, you can play just about anywhere at that chemistry. But we're going to put him on the second line. We'll put Myers Hayes there. I think he should have the power play proper. It's a new or just, you know, the generated rosters from real life. So we should be good there. Let's go ahead and jump into this. This is the first time we've done a accepting all trades type of game here. Why did we go past that screen? Here we go. So we'll see how this goes. I know EA likes to send them troll trades sometimes. Let's hope for the best here. I'm thinking Voracek for, I don't know, Ovi? Seems kind of fair to me. A little bit biased. Oh, first trade. Here we go. Grimaldi for Raffle. A second and a seventh. I just imagine this could be a very long video. <laughs> they want to go to the second and whoever the egg Grimaldi is. Two years. The right wing that is 79 overall. Why are we giving up so much for this guy? Why are we giving up the second? Oh, okay. We're adding the seventh. Okay. They're giving us the second pick. All right. There you go, Nashville. As you please now we're going to, have to update those rosters or he wasn't even playing they just traded for us a backup all right sure 
Here we go. They're warming it up. That is also a backup. It looks like in Derek Ryan coming in here. Derek Ryan and LeBurg. Is it LeBurg or LeBurg? Yeah, 69 overall. <laughs> Got him. Yep, there you go. Welcome. Derek Ryan, you're not playing. I hate to break it to you, pal. You're just going to sit there on the bench. We might actually look at that on the next one. I don't know what his... I think that's Derek Ryan, at least, ain't it? I don't know what his overall is. Uh, we're, you know, past preseason, I guess. We got that going. The main core of this team still together. Flyers haven't lost a game. Oh, never mind. I, I take it back. They've lost a couple games this season. Two to be exact. They haven't won a game all season. Let's reverse things a little bit here. Flyers are going on a massive L streak. Somebody please send us in some trades. Trade ZA. Trades, trades, trades. This team needs them. That's a central scouting rankings. That is not a trade. I, I would like to trade Voracek and Goss to spare for Victor Hedman and Nikita Kucherov. Send it. We'll, we'll throw on a... No, you know what? We'll make them throw on a third. Let's not be greedy here. 74. Might be a little bit of an, uh, an overpayment for those Flyers players, but hey. Gotta do what you gotta do. Here we go. Flyers bouncing back. 9-4. and four. Why do we stop in November? Force of habit. Anytime we do the rebuild franchises, it's about where we go. We go about 15 games in the season, take a peek at how the team's doing, but we're messing with nothing today. Minus, again, accepting the trades of these Flyers. Are we gonna get any trades? Nobody wants to deal with the Flyers. We're just giving players away. You could send us Brandon Saad for Panarin, and we'd be like, accept it. And they're not gonna do it. They're gonna make us wait. I respect the teams want to see how they're going to do this season. You don't want to go out there and give away a bunch of assets to win this season. If you're not going to win, you don't want to give, you know, you don't want to go the opposite direction as well, where you go into a full rebuild, where really your team is starting to turn that corner and play some good hockey here. But the Flyers, here's a trade. Here we go. go. Yeah, that's how you say his name. We're going to go with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another fifth liner, it looks like, for the CHL. 73 overall. He's had a great season. 17 points. Of course you want him. Why do you want to give us all the players you don't want? Two and one. Minus 11. Oh, that's beautiful. You're just playing great, Sven. What, what a season. Minus 11. Seven minutes a night. Oh, beautiful. That's just what we need. Real team player. Sniper. Yeah, we'll, we'll accept that because we have to. And then we're going to leave you on the bench because that's what's just going to have to happen here. Accepting. Yep. Edit lines. Dang it. That dang AHL. He was killing it. Of course we have to update the AHL. That's what needs done here, right? Shouldn't have to move anybody. Just the AHL needs updated here real quickly. Yeah, just the AHL. Perfect. Do a second line and get playing like that. Man, that was a great season. Get in there, Sandine. Get you some playing time, pal. I would have liked to sub you in every line, but I guess EA's not feeling that life today. So we're going to go down to the three-on-three -three and say, here you go. Play there as well. You're going to play left defense slash center. Just kidding. We're going to put big old Ho o Hogeberg. I see the, uh, the asterisk in it. It's not the asterisk. What the heck do you call that thing? Now, well, what else needs fixed? Who are you talking to, EA? Best lines, back dead at lines. Too many dress skaters. Oh, that's a problem. Sorry, Hogberg. You're not going to be playing. We're going to scratch you. Who is the guy that was going to play? We'll put in Reese Witherspoon with a no. And a T. A little bit different look in there. She, she got a haircut, to say the least. What are you talking about? Too many dress skaters. Edit lines. While their spoon's in. I'll scratch him. You just watch. Yeah, best lines this and please don't mess with their other league. That's all I'm asking for here. They shouldn't, right? I mean, if they want to, they can, but I'd appreciate not because we just edited it. Yeah, we're good. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Let's keep on cruising, baby. Flyers 13 and 8. Winning season so far. The trade's looking good. So far, no impact trades, though. I want to see one, EA. Send us one banger. I want to see a top-line guy off this team, and I want to see him have to accept it. I want to see what they're getting in return. As a team that's a contender right now, I don't know if anybody would be willing to make those trades. I know we didn't mess with the trade block, but a lot of the times the trade block's kind of irrelevant in this game where it doesn't, at least in recent years and when we edited it, I've noticed it doesn't matter who you put on it. Like if you put star players on your trade block only, you still don't get the trades for them in this game for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because of the trade value and teams don't want to give up that much or what exactly it is for that realm right there, but... Didn't mess with the trade block. Fires, 23 and 8, top of the division. Killing it out there. Playing like some good old hockey boys. Here's an idea we haven't done now that we're doing this. If we change the trade difficulty, low, medium, high, would EA send us more or less, more or less trades, more or less uneven trades when we do something like this? Like if we put it too high, 
would we see EA send us more, you know, try to get our better players to give up less, you know, because obviously if you turn it to low, they're going to have to give up more. I don't know if that affects anything or not. I don't think there's a trade frequency setting either. Is there? We didn't. I didn't see that. How often the computer sends you a trade? There's years where EA just, or teams, EA just floods you with trades. The Flyers appear not to be one of those teams. Again, I guess they have a lot of veteran presences on this team, and they're a winning team. And teams ain't going to mess with that. But Detroit's coming to town soon, fellas. Hopefully. Not really, because they're not in the same division this year. But they are a lot in this. Where do they come up with a schedule now that I think about it? Since it ain't the real schedule. How crazy would it have been if we got the actual NHL schedule for franchise mode this year? You only played your division. That would have made some interesting sips. That'd be kind of cool to be able to draw it up that way. I guess you'd almost have to clone every team. We're going to be a seller and we're not getting any trades. Oh, man. That's crazy. A very un changed philadelphia flyers team with the trade so it's all up to the sim engine from here we could almost call this the no trades one and go to the all trades one i wanted to try the flyers i was the suggestion and comment not sure if they were or were not a flyers fan but i said you know what you chose the flyers let's do it so is there other teams you guys have probably played a lot of franchise this year if you're watching these videos other teams you've run into where ea just loads you up with trade offers for some key players that you want to see us do. Suggest those. But for now, these Flyers, man. You just see that? They just casually dropped 55 wins this season. Not a big deal. We're going to see if they win the Stanley Cup with these trades. They're building for the future. Kind of. Uh, they was building fourth liners that ain't playing in those trades. They did pick those up. But that was needed. Somebody gets hurt. Somebody gets injured. You know what? All things considered, we traded for those 79s. And I just realized this. What did it right now? Better late than never. <laughs> I forgot we when we traded for that 79, we actually have a 75 starting right now, don't we? We could have edited the roster. You guys are probably yelling through the screens right now. Like, get, get Twerensky, Twerensky off of the team. Carson Twerensky's out of here, I think. Yeah, Grimaldi's going to play. We could have, no, see, I don't want to do that, though, because he's a sniper. That's not going to happen, but Derek Ryan can play. We'll let Derek Ryan get some reps in there. The sniper. Let's hope that doesn't change anything for the Flyers. They just went out there and won a presidents, and we're out here making changes. They're like torched with the Blue Jackets line after a 10-goal game. <laughs> Let's see what they do, though. Flyers and Carolina here in the second round. Flyers lost game one. They're going to win game two. Going to win game three. Speeding through this round here. Up oh, game seven's going to end it. The Flyers going to get bounced in the first, second round. A great season by these Philadelphia Flyers, but they just, you know, it, it didn't feel like their season once they got to the postseason, to say the very least. They went in there, gave round one, and almost got bounced in the first round. We'll take a look at the points just for a good time here. I blame Derek Ryan. I, team just lost games when he came in there. 82 for Drew, 74 for Vorchek, 72 for JVR. That line put out. Provorov, 66, speaking of put out. Kateria, great season. Kevin Hayes, 58. That's going to wrap up. Our all trades except the team, I do believe. Carter Hart, 919. We're going to jump to the no trades accepted Flyers franchise now. I guess the one cool thing about this one is we'll get to see trades. Will they be the same trades? Will they be more blockbuster trades? But there'll be trades we have to deny, of course. Compared to what if we would have had the luck of the draw in the last series, last episode, or last season, I should say. We'll get it out. <laughs> the last season there. Or we've been forced to take them. What kind of, you know, random trade trade engine do we have going on here in this game? Kateria again. We'll take a look at these lines one more time. Probably going to move Borchek to the second line again, if I had to assume. Yeah, that'll plus three it again. Nice to see we've got a very similar coaching style then. Everybody else good to go there. Defense, again, do we move Ghost to the second line? Looks like, nah, it's not going to happen on defense this time. We'll leave it as is there. But uh, no, no, let's still go with the best overalls though. 83-83 there. According to EA, so we'll match those two up and we'll get this party started here. Again, we've got the trade notifications on, so we'll see what they're going to send us. Teams were very active in the preseason last year and really the first month. And once we got past that, for whatever reason, they just didn't want to touch the Flyers. Here we go early. It was Raffle. Nobody wants him, apparently. Or everybody wants him, I should say. He's gone. Can't take it. Early trades. Maybe that's why, too. You get these guys that teams were interested in. Once you send them away, they don't really have a reason to send more. Let's see. Again, we're going to get another raffle trade. This is going to get Erickson. Alex Erickson. Bengals punt returner. 
How about that? I didn't even know he was on the stars. Everybody wants him. That must be the way it works once you get those guys gone. Again, completely new to the idea. Maybe we go down the road of every time we accept trades, we re-edit we re the trade block. But again, I've just I've never noticed them really be that effective unless they're low overall players with low trade value. The trade block doesn't really make too big of a difference. So we'll see what they do here. Flyers better this season than last one at the start, which is absolutely terrifying for the rest of the league because this team won what 55 games last season. All right, something different. Just kidding. More raffle. Everybody wants to play the raffle today. They're feeling lucky. They're like, let me get my raffle tickets. Probably a 20k pot. Back in sports, is that a hockey thing too? I'd assume it's a hockey thing for most clubs, right? Or they do the 50-50 the pots or whatever during the games. Raffle again. Everybody wants raffle and raffle only. There would there'd be a cool feature where you say turn off of all trades for a particular player. And that would cancel out a lot of these trades. But they are all over what in the raffinator. That man has got some sick potential and I just don't know about it apparently. What exactly would be a good route or a good team to choose for this? Who's active with trading the players? I feel like the Bruins are always trying to move some of their... Who's that? The Vakaninen guy? Maybe the Islanders are always trying to move guys. But the Flyers are clearly a tough trade partner here. As all we are getting is raffle in the boys in most trade offers so far. And by most, I mean every single one once every week. <laughs> that is the one thing I love about MLB The Show. And let me tell you what, I can't wait for that game to come out. Now they're saying with Xbox Game Pass... Which, hey, if you play other games, a lot of games, I mean, that's a really good deal. You get the Xbox Game Pass in a game. Me, personally, I, I think I did the math properly. If you get the $10 version of $10 a month of Game Pass, it'd be $120 a year. You're paying for a $60 game, which means it's still costing you essentially $60. You're actually paying more. You're paying an extra $60 bucks if you don't play any of the other games. You're paying $120 for the game. But if you get the uh, the Platinum Edition, is it Platinum? Platinum? Might be Platinum. Ultimate, it might be Ultimate, the Ultimate Edition or Ultra Edition of Game Pass. It's $15 a month, but it comes with EA Access and Gold, which comes out to being you're paying an extra $30 for the entire year if you play none of the other games. But again, because you know, you're assuming you're gonna play MLB The Show for an entire year. Maybe you're not. And then at that point you say, well, I, you only pay for Game Pass for a month or two and you're good to go. So I guess that's an idea as well there. I think that's how Game Pass works, right? The second you buy, the, you don't get to keep the game. You're, you're going right after that when the membership's up. But it's an interesting way to get people into playing it and into buying Game Pass and into wanting to be the show on Xbox. And I'm excited for it. I can't wait. I've been waiting for the baseball game on Xbox for so long. Ever since MLB 2K13, that's when it got stripped out, I believe, there. But it's looking like these flyers. And in all trade, no trades except this year. I guess we're going to see how they play. Aren't going to do as well. You know why? Because the locker room chemistry is not there. Raffles literally heard his name on the television every other day. Like, oh, got another trade for the Raffinator. And nobody's biting. He's probably got the morale down a little bit. Maybe he requesting a trade from the team. He's going in the locker room throwing haymakers left and right. Not happy. Or maybe it was just a bad season for the Flyers. It really wasn't a bad season. They still won a division. But it was a 45-point season instead of or 45 win season instead of again it was 55 right 46 win i lied maybe even 47 okay i think it was 55 i keep saying 55 we'll look back at that flyers penguins first round easy money for the flyers will things be different this time you don't shake up the chemistry in the locker room when you're not making trades the fellas had a chance to bond all season maybe it works Maybe it doesn't. Gone in the first round once again. Flyers do not have a playoff team according to EA. They got a good regular season team, but they struggle to go deep in the playoffs. Let's see how the team did it from a point standpoint. JVR's been killing it. 86 overall JVR. 72 for board checks. 60 for Kateria. Again, a little bit lower on a point production this season for the fellas. As far as the goaltender is concerned, Carter Hart didn't play as well. That's always the big difference. That 919 to 909 is a huge difference. That's going to wrap things up for this video, though, guys. As always, would love to hear the ideas. Again, what teams you guys got in mind? Let's hear them if you want to see another one like this one. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.